On a bitterly cold February afternoon in 2004, Tottenham hosted Leicester City in the Premiership. Spurs, who'd been in the bottom three at Christmas, had recovered and been in free-scoring form. They netted 11 goals in their last three matches. Leicester were struggling in the league. They'd gone 13 games without a win in all competitions and were desperate for all three points. Freddie Canuti was back from international duty with Mali, but was only on the bench for Spurs. Instead, Robbie Keane was partnered up front by £7 million man Jermaine Defoe, who'd already scored two goals in his two matches for Tottenham. The good news for Spurs was that midfielder Simon Davis, who'd been stretched off playing for Wales in midweek, was past fit to play. Ledley King, who'd scored for England playing as a defender, was employed in midfield as the holding player. 37-year-old Les Ferdinand returned to one of his former clubs. He'd scored 33 league goals for Tottenham. As well as Ferdinand, there were three other ex-Spurs players in the Leicester ranks. Ian Walker, Ben Thatcher and Stefan Freund. Manager Mickey Adams made one change to the team that drew with Bolton. Jamie Scowcroft replaced Marcus Bent. Spurs were expected to add handsomely to their burgeoning goal collection, though Leicester had a very good recent record against them. Your match commentator is Ian Dark. So Spurs, goal happy Spurs getting us underway in their white shirts. Will the trend continue and will this be another goal fest as all the recent Spurs games have been? Here's Mickey Adams. Reality crowding in on his Leicester side who have to start picking up points soon. They've only won six points of the last 33, Leicester. And of course you've got more chance than most if you're left-sided of getting yourself a... An international nod of recognition. Michael Brown to take the free kick for Spurs. Bent, bent well, difficult, and Walker, another mistake. Spurs ahead, Michael Brown with his first goal in Tottenham's colours. And Ian Walker at the moment is just having a nightmare. Difficult because it bounced in front of him, but he should have done a lot, lot better. Leicester can't afford this sort of thing. Here's Ferdinand. He certainly won't be a player who's booed on his return to a former club. And Leicester have only won four times on their return to the Premiership. Oh, and there's an own goal! A horrendous mistake by Gary Doherty. Gifts an equaliser to Leicester City. Two pretty crazy goals. And Leicester City are level in the most unexpected fashion. Dickoff made a nuisance of himself. And Doherty, nothing Casey Keller could do to prevent the own goal. No Leicester striker could have done that much better. Give Dickoff credit though because he made his presence felt. Nikos Davizas. They keep your wits about you these days. There's so much movement of players around, especially in the transfer window. Davizas suddenly turned up at Leicester City, having been rejected by Newcastle. Now then, can Ferdinand get in behind? This time, Doherty patches up the damage. Oh, still. Uh, I think haunted by that own goal. Nallis, bad control by him, allows Tottenham possession. It's all a bit scrappy at the moment, but Defoe's in here! And that's three 
in three games for Spurs, who lead 2-1. It's his 50th career league goal. And this is a fine finish. Davis played it through to him, his pace got him clear of Davisas and then it was all about placement. Didn't worry too much about the power, aimed for the far corner, found it. And poor Ian Walker has had two things to do so far, pick the ball out of the net twice. Mistake by Thatcher, and Spurs could be in again here, Walker this time makes the save. Keen denied. And he'll feel a bit better after that. Davis was waiting in the middle. It nearly popped out to him. Lillian Nallis almost decapitating his own player. Ben Thatcher there. And Spurs. Oh, and is that a back pass from Taggart? It is. Good decision, I think, by Neil Barry. You really couldn't interpret this any other way. Brown's ball through. Keane was trying to get onto it. And you've got to say, yeah, that is a back pass. Because what else was it? And it means a free kick here in a very, very dangerous situation. They all want to hit it. Watch that wall charge. <laughs> it's Johnny Jackson. Wall does its job once, but not twice. Tottenham with Robbie Keane. Make it 3-1. Can't stop scoring at the moment. Robbie Keane. That is seven in eight games for him. And it's his 50th Premiership goal. And Leicester thought they'd got away with it as well. But they didn't manage to clear it. And Keane at the end of it. Well, at the moment, everything he's hitting is going in. Certainly for Tottenham. Now Defoe against the whole of the Leicester defence. Davis is arriving, Defoe goes alone, Walker can't hold it. Schimmerke got it away. Tarico. There's a danger for Leicester here of Tottenham running riot. They've scored three and there have been other near things too. And we're only just past half an hour in, here's Defoe again. The defenders didn't want to commit themselves, he bought half a yard for himself, got the shot away. Off. One for Ferdinand. Needs some support around him though. Here it is with Freud. Who really does have the radar way off, doesn't he? It was a poor effort. And all joking aside, that is uh, that is the downside of his game for a midfield player that he just doesn't come up with any goals at all. If you've got a midfielder who can maybe get eight or ten in the season, it really does take the pressure off the, the strikers. Paul Durkin, as the fourth official today, tells us that there is one minute of added time here. And we're already playing it. Keller winces, having hit that ball with the right foot. Maybe he's got a problem. Away by Jerry Taggart. Good old servant, doesn't he, to Leicester City. Six years with the club now. Well, this will be Tottenham's last attack of the half. Carr chipping it forward, and there's more problems here. Jackson heads it back, and a low shot that Walker... Well, that might have been going wide anyway, but he wasn't to know that. Again, it was the troublesome, impish Robbie Keane. 
more good work by Spurs who've got three and are threatening more Taking their time with the corner, we've had the minute of added time, that's it, yep, referee's got that right. Served Tottenham right for taking so long over it, but it's Spurs 3, Leicester City 1. Jackson. Ledley King, dispossessed. Callum Davidson, the Scottish international, is going to come on for Leicester City in place of Jerry Taggart, who's just picked up that booking. Maybe uh, Mickey Adams a little bit worried that yellow will become red. And they certainly don't want to go about this job with ten men. So I would think Thatcher might move into the middle at the back and Davidson go to left back. Now then, Les Ferdinand is winding himself up for a big one here by the look of it the wall is back 10 yards the run-ups about 10 yards as well Leicester needs something special somebody's going to have a headache in the morning but the wall does its job Ferdinand 179 league goals in his career including his time at Besiktas in Turkey Jackson getting in a bit of a mess here, and Ferdinand makes it 3-2. Leicester have got that goal. They have got that lifeline. It was a calamity for Johnny Jackson. Having scored his first Spurs goal in his last game against Charlton, here he certainly gives away. Loses his way, loses his bearings. Sets up Les Ferdinand, who will need no second invitation. And that's a harsh lesson for the youngster to learn. Great finish from Ferdinand. Defoe. Well, he guessed that somebody had made a run into that channel. Keane tried to get there as fast as he could, which is pretty fast, but not quite fast enough. <laughs> Ferdinand. I wonder whether he'll stay for another season if Leicester City stay up. That decision will be taken at the end of the campaign. Maybe he's convincing himself there's still a bit left. He's looked OK today, Ferdinand. There he is again. Scowcroft. Dickoff. Leicester pushing men forward. Schimmacher puts it in there. Up goes Scowcroft. Both he and Ferdinand going for that ball. Good ball in from Ricardo Schimmacher down the right-hand side. The claiming handball against Gary Doherty. That would have been outside the box had it been given. Yeah, Scowcroft's great in the air. And we've got two good headers there with him and Ferdinand. Couldn't quite get it on target. If you can understand it all, you're a better man than I am. Keen. Leicester do well enough. They're getting tighter back there, filtering men back. Denying Spurs the space they had in the first half. Starting to get their act together. Tarico down the line. Davis has pulled wide to the left-hand side. Dickoff in yet another dialogue with the referee. This could be uh, quite a long 25 minutes or so. 
for Tottenham. Unless, of course, they can get another from somewhere. Anderton to play it in. Oh, and almost a free header for Dean Richards. Keane couldn't get his shot away. Now it's Defoe. Does very well to get a cross in. And that should have been number four for Gary Doherty. But he couldn't keep his header down. It was difficult. He was going backwards. Great piece of play this by Jermaine Defoe. Wonderful cross under pressure. And that said, hit head me in, really, to Gary Doherty. But he couldn't quite do it. Well, the Leicester fans here are starting to get a bit excited. They're just wondering if their side's comeback will be further rewarded. Freund into the danger zone. Not away, Scowcroft on the turn. Well, let's have a look at this again. How good a chance is this for Scowcroft? Now, he had to snatch at it. But it was a quarter of an opportunity. It's going to be Leicester's ball. They take it quickly. Here's Nallis. Ooh. Now then. Things boiling over a bit here with that challenge. Scowcroft, red card. Leicester are down to ten men. Referee didn't have to think long about it. The challenge was on Maurizio Torrico. Maybe there have been one or two things going on between these two players, but oh, over the top of the ball. And that is the kind of challenge the pros hate. Couldn't really complain. Off goes Jamie Scowcroft to add to Leicester's problems, and that is going to equal a three-game ban as well. It's a straight red. It is the kind of challenge that does have to be stamped out of the game because that could easily have been a broken leg. I think if that had caught Tarico on a standing leg, he might well have been in hospital and out of the game for six months. In other words, it was a challenge that Scowcroft was not really entitled to make, even if he was, in his own mind, going for the ball and not the man. Well, just when Leicester were threatening, maybe, to steal something out of this after a fairly wretched performance in the first half. That goes and happens. But it was a 10-man Manchester City, wasn't it? Who came back from three down to win 4-3 here, so who knows? This is a Tottenham Hotspur match after all. And now Leicester have a free kick. Carrico returns after the challenge, seemingly none the worse. He might well have been from that. That's only uh, luck, really, that he didn't sustain a serious injury. Steve Guppy. Can he curl this into the right area for Les Ferdinand? It was aimed towards him. Tottenham are aware of the danger. And Dean Richards was back there. But you have to say, Tottenham's defence don't uh, inspire the greatest confidence. Teams will always feel they have a chance against them. Here's the corner kick, Nellis can't reach it, but there's an equaliser for Leicester City! And it's Ben Thatcher against his old club! Extraordinary developments here! Ten-man Leicester City, our level, and David Pleat can't believe it.
Tottenham look to have this game in the bag at half time, but they've let it slip again. First Ferdinand scores against his old club. Now Ben Thatcher does it as well. It's his first goal of the season. And what a time to score it. Oh, that means the world to him. Tarako involved this time with Dickoff. It's all getting pretty heated here as Leicester fight for their lives at the bottom and how they fought here today. And what a return for the ex Spurs in the Leicester lineup. Ian Walker with a big mistake. Goals for Ferdinand and for Thatcher, and now a booking for Dickoff. And a red card as well. Are you keeping up with all this? It was away by Bent. Red card, of course, for Jamie Scowcroft. Six goals, one red, three yellows. And 14 minutes remaining here in the Barclay Card English Premier League. Tottenham three, Leicester City three. Doherty, oh, a mistake by Doherty! And he's 4 3 to Leicester City, thanks to Marcus Bent, who's only just come on. What on earth are Tottenham playing at? Having put in his own goal, Gary Doherty has now given away another. It's the Manchester City nightmare revisited. Well, they've been the victims of this kind of mugging themselves this season twice over Leicester. Maybe this time they're going to be the beneficiaries. Eighth goal of the season for Marcus Bent with virtually his first touch since he's come on. And it was all the fault of Gary Doherty with a sloppy back pass. Might have been a foul even on Dickoff before that by the goalie. Now Bent. Good turn from him, bought a bit of space. If Leicester can keep the ball, that'll really be a bonus. Leicester getting the payoff for just a little bit of tenacity. Determination. Off comes Paul Dickoff getting booed by the Tottenham crowd, but he won't mind that at all. I think his answer might be take a look at the score. We're 4 3 up here. On comes Frank Sinclair. These would be three absolutely priceless points for Leicester if they hold on to them. Now it's Canute. Away by Callum Davidson, not far enough to Ledley King. Now then Defoe! And it's made it 4-4! Extraordinary! Tottenham out of jail. I hope his heart's OK, David Pleat. Four in three games, it all came from a sloppy clearance that from Callum Davidson, who had a bit more time than that. Defoe controlled it well into space. Finish emphatic, that's what he's about. Doherty wide for Steve Carr. Leicester now trying to hold on to only one point. Because that's all they've got left, it's Nallis. Maybe they can break. They need to hold on to the ball. Should get the whistle any moment. There it is, it's all over. It was a game of unending drama. And it's ended. Tottenham Hotspur 4, 
Leicester City for, but Leicester do stay second to bottom with that result. The third successive league match in which Tottenham had scored four goals, but they went on a bad run after this, losing five of their next six, halting any progress they'd been making up the league. The team finished in 14th place. Leicester couldn't drag themselves away from the drop zone, eventually finishing 18th. They managed just three home wins, the worst in the Premiership, and that meant relegation. <laughs>